The fifth thing to think about is organize and earn. They say that for every minute you spend organizing something, you save an hour. And that is so true, but even more true whenever you're talking about retail. You need to figure out how you're going to display your items. Are you gonna display, you know, golds over here, silvers over here, handbags over here, purses over here, wallets over here? Are you gonna um, put, you know, sizes, like all of your large things, all of your extra large things and your smalls? Are you gonna have it, you know, specifically by different types? So you really just need to think about that so that whenever you're creating your merchandising plan, you know exactly what you're gonna do. The main reason that you want to do this is because if you pair, you know, light collections like a purse and a wallet together, then instead of them just buying the purse, they might also get your purse and your wallet and therefore you've got a great add on sale. Number six is head, shoulders and knees and sales. So whenever you're also developing your merchandising plan, you want to remember exactly how high and how low to go. Anything lower than your knees and your customers are basically going to be crawling on the ground to get to your product. You really don't want that. Plus it's just going to get dirty and messy and you really don't want that. The next thing is just height. You want to go with your product about eye, maybe head level, maybe a little bit taller than me just because I'm pretty short, but maybe not that short, but just kind of in that general range. So about 18 inches off of the ground to about, you know, five and a half foot or so. Now, if you can go higher, definitely go higher, but do that with your product, with your branding, or, you know, highlight one specific piece, you know, up high, like put a shirt up high, put a purse up high, but nothing like, so those things will just need to be readily available a little bit lower. The other thing that you need to think about is just your customer's reach. You know, you don't want to have like a five foot table and then I'm going to have to be reaching, you know, five foot to the back of your table so that I can reach your product. Like if your space is five foot, then you're probably going to want to be able to have people walk around all the sides of it because they can easily get two and a half feet back, maybe three feet, but definitely not five feet or else you're going to have all of your stuff being knocked over every day, all the time. Mm -hmm.